Hi everyone. Now we will talk about Laravel form validation and first we will see how we can apply validation on the all of these input fields and here we will cover some cases like how we can apply validation for required field, how we can apply validation for minimum characters, maximum characters, email validation, we will see all of these cases. Then we will see how we can display the validation message and see we will display these validation messages with the two ways. First we will display the list of all of these uh, validation messages on the top of the uh, input fields. After that we will display uh, the form validation message with a parallel to the fields. So for example if we have a validation error in the user email then the message will display to the parallel of this field not to the top. Alright and at last we will cover some important interview question also. So now let's move on the code and here you can see that we have two files which is which are open. First one is user form blade.php there we are writing the code of this form and second one is user controller there we are submitting this form and we created these file in the previous two parts so i hope you watch the previous videos and if you don't have any idea like how we can create form and how we can uh, submit the values to the controller then you can watch our previous video right but i'm i'm sure like you are aware about this so to apply the validations we have a class inside this we have a function inside this request class and that we have to use so there we have a instance of request class which is dollar request and inside this we have a validate function inside this uh, actually this function will accept a array and here we can declare our validations for example i want to apply the validation for this username input field right so what you can do you can just mention a key uh, we can mention this uh, form input name as a key and we can apply the validation as a value of this so i just want to be like it should be required like this right and at last we can simply put the semicolon to this function now what actually happen if i'm trying to submit this so if just i'm trying to submit this form you will see there is some processing whenever you'll just click on this button but this is not actually getting submit reason being because this field is not uh, valid because we have to enter some data so let me just enter my name then if i just click on the add new user then you will see we can see we can submit this form right okay so after this so now let's say i want to apply this validation on the email also right so now i will just put email as a key and the validation as a value like required now if i will not put any of the value to the name or email then this form will not gonna submit so let's try it again you can see that there is some processing but this form is not getting submit if i just putting some name still it will not work because we have to put the email address also now you can see this is working after adding the both of these values all right cool so similarly we can apply the validation on uh, uh, city also city and again it should be required and the last one is skills and they are also required right so now you will find all of the input fields are required so if i just search put name and then email id and if i just select uh, select the skill if we will not enter any of these fields so for now as you can see i am not entering the city so you will find this is not gonna submit and if i just put all the value of all of these input fields then it will work here you can see that perfect so but the thing is how will user get to know what is the issue there if there is a no error message and no validation message then user can understand this right so what we can do we have to display the uh, error message to the top of uh, the form first then we'll uh, show this error message parallel to the input fields also all right so for that what you can do go back to uh, your form or you can see that view and or just you can take any div or span whatever you want and inside this what you can simply do uh, you can simply print our thing right just uh, create the okay let me use the double curly braces then simply use print r and inside this uh, you can run dollar you can put dollar errors right double r o r s and now if i just submit now you can see that we are getting the 
array of these uh, validation messages but user may cannot understand these issues right so what we can do we can just use a loop and display these uh, messages in a proper format right so for that what you can do you can remove this print because i just want to show like these are the errors we have right so now what you what you can simply do you can just do uh, at the rate if dollar errors right and there is a function like any if there is a any error right then what we can do uh, we can just simply run a loop inside this so then I will just use there for each and then we will check errors and uh, we can just uh, loop through for the all errors as dollar error and then we can maybe we can close the for each first and then we have to close the if also like this right and inside this let's take a div and there use double curly braces and dollar error and now you will see if i just submit this form you can see all of these input fields like username is required email cities everything so for example i am putting email address city and skill then after submit you will find the username field is required because other was properly filled right so this was not entered and if i just enter all of the data to the all of the field it will still work fine cool that we understand so to just show in the red color what we can do we can just apply some style and there we can mention color red now go back try to submit uh, okay go back and try to uh, submit the empty form and you can see that we are getting all of these messages in the red color perfect but i want to show the messages to the parallel to the each of the input field because there are maybe we have 20 30 fields that time this uh, message not be very useful right so what we can do now uh, with the each of the input field let create a span tag and in this pen tag first you have to check error at the rate error like this then for which field you want to check so uh, because this field is username field so you want to check definitely for this or you can just check there right for this username we want to uh, display the message and check the error message like this we can do right and after that what we can do just simply use double curly braces and inside this let's simply put there message like this cool and at the last let's simply put there and uh, error because we just put there uh, at the rate error so we have to end it also and now if i am just submitting it now you can see that this field is required now we are getting the error message in a parallel to it so to make it better we can change the color also let's say style color red or something and now this is much better and similarly what we can do maybe you can copy and paste it with the each of the input field below to the each of input fields like this and then change uh, the uh, name of the error message like there we need email there we need city and at last what we need skills right and now if you, if you just try to submit you will see red color message with the each of the input field so let's say i'm putting their name email and skill then the error message will be, will be on the front of city here you can see that all right so but see till now we just apply the required field, field only but let's say you want to put some other fields let's say you want like username should be at least minimum character should be three right and the maximum character should be let's say 10 or let's say 15 is better right so for that you can also check so if i'm putting there add new user then you can see that we have the data we have added for each of them and if i just put there let's say just single a then again this error message will be changed and the username must field must be at least three characters and if i just put there let's say uh, some characters maybe just let me put their proper name anil right 
then this message will be gone and if i just put there some very long name more than 20 characters again you will get a message like cannot be greater than 15 characters and similarly you can provide there for email maybe you want to check up email is proper you want to validate the email right then you can mention their email and if i just uh, put some random one two three then you will find the email field must be a valid email address and if you just put the valid then there will be no error so with that way we can apply the validation and in, in interview question they can ask like how we can apply validation for minimum characters maximum characters or for emails right and which method we are using to apply the validation and how we can display the message with the, each of the input fields right in next part we'll see how we can modify these error messages let's say i want to display something else like username is uh, required or anything i want to show how we can show these messages that we'll learn in the next part thank you so much uh, this is my paytm donation number for donation and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment section thanks guys